Hello again. In my earlier video about receiving 3 centimeter EME signals with a small dish in LNB, I realized that I forgot to discuss one important topic and that is polarization of EME signals. Um, EME signals don't always come in with a fixed uh, polarization um, and if the polarization of the incoming signal doesn't match that of your antenna there's a signal loss associated with the polarization mismatch, greatest when the difference between the incoming signal polarization and your antenna is 90 degrees, and reducing to zero polarization loss when, uh, when there's no difference between the incoming polarization and that of your antenna. At VHF, there's a phenomenon called Faraday rotation, where the polarization of the EME signal actually rotates going through the Earth's ionosphere and so it's somewhat unpredictable or very unpredictable at what the exact polarization of the signal you're listening for will be at any given time and there are techniques at VHF to uh, to deal with that or not deal with that and just wait for a Faraday rotation to bring it around to a, uh, a favorable polarization for you. This doesn't work at 10 gigahertz however where there's no Faraday rotation. Here it's just the geometry of the location of the two stations on Earth and the position of the moon which sets the polarization. Uh, the polarization does slowly change over time as the moon is moving and that changes the geometry. Uh, with a small dish you can't afford to be too far off from ideal polarization and you can't afford to have much uh, loss of signal because signals aren't going to be that strong for you in the first place. Uh, there is a convention on uh, on three centimeters uh, where stations in Europe typically transmit with vertical polarization and stations in North America use horizontal. And that's based on the, the realization that for most of Europe to most of North America, uh, the geometry works out that a large percentage of the time there's approximately a 90 degree polarization offset between, uh, between Europe and North America. Uh, so that's fine, uh, but I live on the east side of, uh, of North America, the northeast corner, and for me, uh, just because I'm a little closer to Europe, uh, there's less time when it's near that 90 degree figure, and more time when it's something less. It can even be zero degrees at times, but there's a, a lot of time here when it's something in the 40 to 60 or 70 or 80 degree uh, range, so uh, I don't see as, as many hours of the roughly 90 degrees polarization offset between here and Europe as much of North America would. So for my location even more important to be able to adjust polarization to the uh, to that of the incoming signal. So I wanted to discuss um, how that's done and I'll show you uh, in WSJTX where I get the polarization figure to uh, to set the uh, LNB on the dish and then I'll do a segment showing uh, showing how I rotate the LNB to set the polarization appropriately so that I get uh, zero loss or the least possible loss due to the polarization offset. So here's where the polarization data comes from for EME from the WSJTX astronomical data window. There's this dipole figure down here that tells you how far to rotate the feed or the LNB or the polarization from from the default position. Uh, so this is where the number comes from. Uh, now this is an unrealistic time that I'm filming the video. I'm, I'm doing this segment uh, when I'm available, not necessarily at an appropriate time. I have uh, DL0SHF selected as the DX station and this is an unrealistic time because as you see here the moon isn't even up at DL0 SHF so consequently these are not the correct numbers that I would normally see during my moon window uh, with with this station I uh, see it's uh, 23.8 uh, 23 degrees positive dipole here uh, according to the program at this time normally this number for me would be somewhere in the minus 50 to minus 90 range uh, during a typical EME window 
uh, common window with this station. So just ignore the fact that this number is, is, uh, is not realistic. This is where it comes from. And out at the dish in the next segment, I will uh, show you the setting for a more realistic polarization number that I would actually see uh, when I'm listening for this station. Okay, so here I am out at the dish on a frosty October morning. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, that season of the year when the uh, leaves are changing color, fall foliage everywhere. Anyway, back on to subject EME polarization. As you may recall from the first video on uh, the subject of 3 centimeter EME with a small dish in LNB, I mentioned that there are two probes in these LNBs, one for vertical polarization and one for horizontal. And you want to use the one for vertical because on every LNB that I'm aware of, having tested myself or seen test results from others, the vertical probe produces lower noise figure or gives lower noise figure, which means better performance for weak signal uh, signal reception, which EME certainly is weak signal. Uh, so when you feed the proper voltage to the LNB around 12 volts to select vertical polarization, that means it's vertical when the connectors here uh, coming out of the LNB are basically pointed downward uh, toward the ground. They're on the, uh, on the bottom here. Uh, so that's vertical polarization right there. So if I were listening for a European station who's transmitting vertical polarization at a time when the dipole figure or the spatial polarization offset between me and Europe is 90 degrees, I wouldn't need to do anything because I'm already set it uh, at the same polarization they are and it's not being changed by the geometry uh, between the station locations and the moon so I would leave it alone. A more typical figure for me for Europe is about minus 45. So minus 45 means to rotate the feed counterclockwise 45 degrees as seen from the surface of the dish. So looking at it this way from over here near the, uh, you know, from the surface of the dish. Um, 45 degrees would be right about uh, oh, roughly in there somewhere. You don't have to be exact, just get, uh, just get close, that'll be fine. What I've done here is I just left the, uh, the clamp the, that holds the LNB just loose enough so I can turn it. But there's still some friction so that it holds its position once I've set it where I want it, but I can, I can still turn it. So I just adjust the clamps till you get the right amount of tension to accomplish that. Now if the polarization figure or the dipole figure were to be minus 90, I would just continue rotating around counterclockwise until I get to uh, to 90 degrees. At this point, even though I'm using the what's called the vertical probe in the LNB, I'm really running horizontal polarization because I've rotated 90 degrees. So that would be the uh, minus 90 uh, setting. And of course, if the uh, dipole figure were positive, say uh, say 45 degrees positive, which I probably never actually see with Europe, I'd simply rotate in the other direction uh, clockwise for positive rotation, which would be about here. Now for North America, uh, it's a little different because North America transmits with horizontal polarization. And uh, I'm always worried I could get this wrong in my head trying to think about how to do this in, uh, in one step to add or subtract uh, 90 uh, for this. So what I do, first of all, when I'm going to listen for a North American station is I just rotate this thing 90 degrees, first of all. So now I'm actually horizontally polarized, the same as the North American station. And then if the dipole were to say uh, 20 degrees uh, negative, then I would just rotate another 20 degrees uh, around there somewhere uh, in that counterclockwise direction. And if it were to say that it's positive, then I would just rotate 20 degrees uh, this other way in a clockwise direction from, from the... Uh, horizontal setting. Uh, so that's really all there is to it. It's just a matter of rotating the LNB according to the dipole figure to set the uh, set the polarization where you need it for uh, for the particular station you're listening to at a given time uh, based on the geometry.